Hello, it's Diane. I'm here with a flea market haul and also mm, my daughter-in-law found some more things for me at uh, the house that she's helping to clean out, house of a friend. Um, so let's just get started. The blue van man didn't have a lot today. I found cards, playing cards. Actually, today was a bonanza of playing cards. It's pretty much all I got, but this is not a Santa Claus set of cards. But I thought that the Legend of the Sand Dollar would be a fun card for beach and summer um, journals. It's kind of odd, though. I thought it would tell the story of the Legend of the Sand Dollar, but it doesn't. It's just a picture, and it says the Legend of the Sand Dollar, and the regular cards on the back. And then the other side of it was just these red cards. But I just wanted these. What's on the bottom? Oh, it's more... More sand dollar cards. So I'll get these in the shop pretty soon because they'll be handy for summer journals. Also, I think I'll pair them with these lighthouse ones. I thought these were pretty. Currituck Be Beach, it says. I don't know where that is, but they are really pretty cards. The lighthouse is reflected. <clears throat> So I think I will pair them with the sand dollars in a bundle to sell. Then I got these just scenic ones. They're pretty. So that was all I got from the Blue Van Man. Then I went to another, mostly it's still, it's still just men vendors there pretty much and they have Oh, stuff about the war, hunting and fishing and cars and machinery and sports, all the stuff that I'm not interested in. So I thought I was just going to walk away with just those sets of cards from the Blue Van Man, but then I found some really nice cards and they were in a white plas little white plastic basket and I just picked out the ones I wanted and the guy told me I could have the whole basket for $5. So I took it. So there are cards here that I wouldn't have brought home. And I don't know what to do with all these plain cards. I, I can't collage that, on that many cards. But we've just got these plain blue ones. Um, I guess these are the same thing. They're pinochle cards. I have some of these American Airlines cards. I think it's, yep, that's what's in there. Sometimes you don't know if it's the same thing. Just those red ones, some more pinochle cards from Faze Drugstore, which is no longer in existence. And I think these are just plain too, although they look pretty old. Lord Baltimore playing cards, poker cards. I mean, the box is an old box. So I think that's it for just the plain, regular playing cards. This one I wouldn't have picked up. Oh, I didn't even... Didn't even look at the picture. I just thought it was this. So that's nice. It's a covered bridge in Vermont. I like that one. All right. This one is pretty. Lord Baltimore playing cards with a linen finish. Aren't these pretty? And so there's a brown and a green. I like those. Ooh. <laughs> Did I not see these? They're pretty. So I wonder if they're all the same. Oh, because I thought it was this. And I like the birds much better. I am, I'm not into dogs, and I just thought, well, a lot of people are, so they would want the dog cards. But I am really glad that they're bird cards. That one is pretty. A robin? And a cardinal. Oh my goodness. Oh, it says Eastern Bluebird, not Robin. I know that. That's not a Robin. I just saw the red breast. Okay, Eastern Bluebird and a cardinal. Aren't they lovely cards? Oh, that was a nice surprise. I'm sorry for all you dog lovers that were, would be hoping for bulldogs, but these are prettier. Then we have another Lord Baltimore set of these old-fashioned carriages. Aren't they cool? I love these.
and I hope, I think this is what's in here because I, I opened this one because I wanted to make sure. Aren't they pretty? These are so pretty. So we've got pink roses and yellow roses. I'm really glad that this box didn't lie to me. I would have been so disappointed. And in addition to all of these cards for $5 were these things, which I was very excited about. This I didn't care so much about. Dreamsicles, Angel, Love My Kitty. I'll just, I don't know what I'll do with that. It's not my thing. But this is a contract bridge score pad. And you can tell it's old. And two bridge tally packs unopened. So there's 12 in each one, and they're pretty. And the only other thing I got was some needle cards. Now this guy had needle books, I mean. He had a binder with the plastic sleeves, plastic sheets were with pockets in it. So I figured that these weren't going to be cheap because he was taking care of them and and I was right. He said they would range from two to six dollars. So I picked out little ones. These were two. And it's just so pretty. And this one was four, but it was so adorable. And I'm going to put this one and one of these in my own domestic arts journal because I'm pretty sure I won't get, um, I won't make a profit if I try to sell these. That's why I look for them to be cheaper. But I love them, and I wanted them in my domestic arts journal. And this might find its way into another domestic arts journal. So that's it for the flea market. Um, so my daughter-in-law found some things for me, like this great big piece of blue gingham. I don't need this much. It feels like a, like lots of yards. Maybe, I don't know, four or five yards maybe. But I wanted, I, you know, she just brought me bags and whatever I want I can have. And if I don't want it, I can dispose of it. But wouldn't that be cute in a Wizard of Oz journal? And I do have some things collecting for another Wizard of Oz journal. So I'll keep some of it, but some of it's going to have to go in my shop. I'm going to wash this first. I don't know how long it's been sitting around in that house. And I do have a few cards of... Uh, Rick Rack and well not Rick Rack but seam binding and stuff like that already set aside um, as in my cleaning out so I can add these to it and just sell a whole bundle. This is navy blue seam binding <coughs> <coughs> sorry and some stretch lace, some brown Rick Rack, some orange seam binding, lavender seam binding, navy blue again brown seam binding and black so they'll probably end up in my shop um, I'm not sure about this it's that inexpensive paper um, but it, look how aged it is this paper ages fast because of the quality of paper it is it might make fun journaling spots it might be fun to stamp on I just don't know about the quality of the paper and how long it will last But that was in the package oh here's some more this is white twill tape and some blue hem lace. She gave me this unopened packet of paper with two teddy bears having tea. And I do plan on making a teddy bear journal very soon using Mrs. Cog's teddy bears. This is an adorable set of cards. There's a mouse baking in a thimble. This is, these are current cards. Using um, a spool as a desk and a chair, writing a letter. And watering a plant that's planted in a thimble. I think that's all. Oh, there's one looking out a window. Her curtain tie backs are safety pins. They're so cute. And they come with the envelopes. Very nice cream colored envelopes. I have a whole bunch of stationary products that I am going to do bundles of, so some of those will go in there. 
Some of these will definitely go in there. They are envelopes with teapots and teacups. I am not a tea drinker. I do not plan on doing a tea journal. I mean, I could use these in any other kind of journal, but I think I will just put them in my shop. Here's some Christmas cards. Wooster Scott. I was thinking they kind of look Grandma Moses-ish. Jane Wooster Scott. They're not quite as primitive as Grandma Moses, but they're really nice uh, Christmas scenes, winter scenes. Look at that. And there's another Christmas. It's a thank you card. So cute. Some seashells on just a little note paper. These are not old. These are American Greetings blank notes, but they're pretty. Butterflies. We have some Thanksgiving cards. Be good in some fall journals. And look at these. Get that adorable puppy and the envelopes that match. So some of these will go in my shop at Christmas time or in uh, journal kits or something. And then lastly, um, this folder of iris note paper from Current. Too bad I didn't have these when I was doing my iris journal. There's some note cards, pretty lavender envelopes, and this note paper. They're just so pretty. I love them. So it's always fun when Stephanie says, I have a bag for you. But she said this is probably the last. She knows what to look for. She looks um, at clearance and when she goes to antique stores and stuff, which she doesn't do very often. But she knows what to look for for me. So I appreciate that. So that's it for my haul. And, well, I guess this is a haul, too. I just didn't have to pay for it. And, uh... Let's see what else I get accomplished today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.